a small nondescript building on the BAE system site at Wharton, Lancashire. Inside the first clue to what this centre is all about, the F-35. These two rooms contain simulators for the F-35 Lightning II and Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carrier. Peter Wilson is BAE's F-35 test pilot and explains more about the site. So this is a very grand simulation uh, which combines two elements, the F-35 as an aircraft uh, which is coming to the UK and into UK service uh, this year and the Queen Elizabeth class carriers and the view that you get in this particular room is from the uh, Flyco which is where the flying operation on the Queen Elizabeth class carrier is controlled from looking out onto the flight deck so you can see over uh, our shoulders here that you can see the back of the flight deck um, you can pretty much see the, the whole of the front of the flight deck up forward as well and then right next door we have the cockpit of the F-35 uh, very faithfully reproduced the two facilities are linked such that anything you do next door in the cockpit is seen in here uh, from the ship so it's a kind of critical component of these two that you can exercise multiple elements of the task force, if you like, the pilot, as well as the landing safety officer, the command structure. You can exercise all that at the same time. Peter's letting me have a go at doing a vertical landing. And over we come. Sea's choppy now. <laughs> yes, sea is choppy. Do I ease off slightly as we get it? Well, when you get there, you just release it and it will stay here. Yeah. Oops. It puts the bank on and it settles you there. Right. And now to land, you push forward until you feel a detent. So just push on the stick until you feel a yep. detent and then you hold it there. Got it. This is it. And then the, watch the throttle as you touch down or feel it. At touchdown, it will go to idle automatically and you are on the flight deck. That's how you do a vertical landing. It's quite straightforward, isn't it? Yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> All the while this is going on, the other simulator mirrors the events. From April the 19th, Royal Navy and RAF personnel will begin using this simulator suite, another step closer to when the F-35 and the carrier will come together for real.